Lena Sen, who's executive director of the CGF Bourse. And my question for you, Lena, is using yourself as an example, can you help us with another more personal um, uh, view about how women can be better empowered to participate in the development of finance that we need so much to, to move ahead? Sure. Thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. Um, an opportunity to share maybe what I perceive as an improbable story. Uh, growing up in Senegal, in West Africa, coming to the US to go to college in Maine, of all places, mm -hmm. <laughs> after Senegal. It was quite a tra transition right there. Um, then from college, going to straight to Wall Street here in New York, uh, JP Morgan, Lehman, um, then uh, moving on to graduate school, Harvard Business School, Kennedy School, White House Fellowship, back to Wall Street, and then uh, deciding that it was time for me to go back home to Senegal, uh, which I did a couple years ago, um, and, um, and to continue my career in, well, um, in finance. And I call that an improbable journey because uh, there was nothing that I would have anticipated uh, while I was in high school in Senegal that could have given me those opportunities except for uh, what we call empowering women and young girls. And in my case, that empowerment really came from three sources. Uh, first source was uh, uh, encouragement and mentoring from uh, fellow women, women leaders, like Donna Sims right here. Actually, ironically, we haven't seen each other in a very, very long time, but uh, she was one of my biggest role models on Wall Street. Uh, she took me her under, under her wing. She didn't have to. I was a little analyst uh, at, at JP Morgan. And uh, so those were personal uh, acts that people can, can take that can actually go a long way. Um, so in addition to, to mentoring that individuals can do, and that, that goes uh, both for women and men who are in finance, uh, you'd be surprised by how just taking you know, a little portion of your time, you know, once a month to sit down and have a conversation with a young, uh, young girl or a young woman who's in, a, in the harsh um, environment of, of finance and Wall Street, how that can go a long way uh, in her career and her impact um, in, in the world of finance. Uh, the other thing that helped was, which I think we should do a lot more if we're talking about getting more women in finance in Africa, it's actually internship programs, which actually are great, um, a, a wonderful tool uh, that actually is, is quite common in the US, but when you look at Africa, there are very few formal programs that exist that actually recruit talented young women to bring them and expose them to uh, different areas uh, within finance. So that's something that I think that sh should be encouraged. And that's where I believe the, the AU can play a role in terms of encouraging banks that are on the continent to establish formal programs to recruit uh, young women. They could be on the continent. They could be you know, studying at a, at, a, at a university in other countries but recruit them to come back to the continent and expose them to the world of finance. And, um, and also the media, I think, can play a role. The media, uh, I don't see enough role models that are um, you know, showcased or, or given as examples to follow. Uh, I don't see it enough in the US, and for sure I don't see it enough uh, on the continent um, since I've been back. And I think people like uh, Donna uh, they can actually inspire so many people, not just women, but young men as well, to, to go on, uh, to, to go and, and do careers in finance that can take them to lead organizations that manage $6 billion. So that's my personal uh, input in that, empowering young women and girls. Well, I, I think it is so um, right on mark because here we are convergence. We have to implement. We can't implement without capacity. So your story and the fact that two of you are re <laughs> reunited in this panel that just sort of is just 
it's <laughs> really nice true. Time. But this, but this is the, the the model, not just for women, but for everyone in in getting finance. The AU has a leadership role, very important in mobilizing the political commitment of heads of state in Africa, but how to be able to actually create the talent that's needed to fill Africa Agenda 2063 starting yesterday. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.